welcome back episode 109 oh boy you know sometimes i just kind of forget you know these these mobs like like charlie here has just been kind of left here <laughs> and I, I kind of feel bad because all of my prior pets in other episodes and other videos and stuff they, they they just get left it's so sad but i'm back charlie i'm i'm back i promise i'm back i'll even give you a little trot around the the, the pole here <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, yes, we are back in our Vault Hunters 116 world. And my goodness, do uh, we have a lot to do today. Um, I actually want to get some things set up and actually automated as well today, which is going to be kind of cool. But we do have our crate and a new artifact, uh, which is awesome because we are so close. So first things first, let's identify our artifact. And I hope it's a new one. If not, we're going to reroll. I think we have this one. I think we do. We do have that one right there. So this one can get tossed while we pop a new one. We have that one. Pop a new one. Actually, we, we get two. We have that one and we have that one. So, yes, this is how we are. Uh, we're trying to get all of the artifacts because uh, could you imagine? I couldn't even imagine how much time this would actually take to, to get all of these like normally. Like at this point, the the chance of you getting a duplicate is just so high. Like, look at all of these. The the duplicate rate is just insane at this point. Oh, uh, do I have this one? Yes, I have that one too. Oh boy, we're getting all of them. Maybe eventually we'll get a new one. I don't want to spoil myself. We have that. We have that <laughs> that one. Oh no. This will take so long. Okay, finally, we have a new one. Oh, goodness. Well, that's, uh, these are all going to be laid here to despawn. So in reality, we only need two more. We need this one and this one. Now, I don't want to give up on this series. I really, really love this series. And I have gone, I've put this much effort into it. I really do want to finish it. Now, here's the thing. I think we might be able to do it in this particular gear that we have. I, I think we might be able to do it and with our axe uh, to be able to complete the end. It all depends upon all of the all, all kinds of factors. Honestly, one, I, I haven't uh, spoiled myself still. I still haven't spoiled myself on the end boss, so I still have no idea what the actual end <laughs> contains. Uh, but I do know it takes a long time to do it. Uh, but to prepare myself, I think I definitely need to run some more vaults. Definitely run some more vaults. Also need to do another challenge run today, of course. Um, that is definitely on the list of things to do. And who knows? When I create my crystals today, we might actually get ourselves a challenge run. Now, when I say challenge run, I, I actually mean like we might get a vault that actually has some uh, catalyst modifiers that will give us uh, artifacts. Now, the crystal that we ended up getting is actually a 500 puzzle room, Rush, Rotten, and Trapped. This is our challenge crystal. And uh, you know what? Let's do this bad boy. There is nothing stopping me. We're going in and we're going to get this bad boy done. So um, with it being trapped, uh, the chance of us getting tons of mobs from this is pretty high, but and also getting random potions. But all of these chests, right, could still yield some good, uh, good things. And right here, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and like take all of these out and set them aside like we should be able to solve just about every single one of these. Uh, let's see. First of all, let's do the first few rooms and we'll go ahead and do this. Now, with it being trapped, I mean, I'm not too worried at this point because of how close to the end of this pack we are. Um, but yeah, like, look at this. We can still run these and gather up all of the goodies, even with it uh, well, blowing things up and stuff like that. Here's another one. And bloop. Mm, you gotta love it. I mean, honestly, these are actually kind of nice. If you get the ones that uh, spawn mobs, I mean, it's not a big deal as we can pretty much avoid them. You take hardly any damage. But the big thing is if I find the rooms that don't actually uh, utilize the Omega puzzle pieces, it's actually pretty nice. Like, for example, this. We have tons of these. So going in here and placing these all down... This is actually no problem, and we're getting tons of chests. So this is kind of worth it. Kind of worth it, yeah. Man. 
How crazy is this? Oh boy, and it pops down. <laughs> Sometimes it's still bugged out and broken down to the bottom. Well, so far I've done, I don't know, I would say almost 15 of these close, close to it so far. And my goodness, like even though they're trapped, I still see it. I'm still, still seeing a lot of gear, a lot of gear coming from this. And I've already made a loop around the main, uh, the main portal. So there's a lot of them that actually don't require Omega, which is really, really handy. So I'm thinking at this point, I might as well just go ahead and clean up and, uh, well, potentially fight the boss. We only need one more obelisk and oh, <laughs> and the obelisk is literally in this room. Yeah, we, we can go ahead and fight the boss. Yep. Easy peasy. Very, very nice. This is, I mean, if we put etchings on and I mean, I just feel like we would be just killing it in these vaults. So let's take a look at our boss crate. No artifact, but we do get a bunch of nice things. We basically have everything that we need. Um, vault burgers is stuff that, I mean, I'm kind of saving up for because of course I can still hit level 300. I just don't really want to go past level 300. Um, yeah, other than that, everything is uh, looking pretty good. Now, um, let's see, bag. I didn't put anything inside the backpack, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see, does this also have, no, okay. So yeah, I didn't put anything in there. All we have to look at is what's in here. And so how many vault diamonds did we get? Where do I have my vault diamonds listed? Up here, 24 vault diamonds from just that run alone. Okay. That I would say is pretty, pretty good. And then as far as armor goes, yeah, we just, we found a ton of it. Uh, I mean, that was all gilded chests, so of course we did. So next on my list of things to do today, definitely going to get myself a seal and we are going to rock this seal. I went ahead and made some more crystals as well, but uh, we are gonna just dash right into this vault and hopefully wreck the boss. That's the whole goal anyways. All right. So I think I'm ready. All I have to do is just, I guess, go for it. <laughs> just go for it. All right, so we got extended raffle and it's uh, slowed, but slowed does absolutely nothing for us. But man, we have five obelisks to find and uh, that's gonna be our only issue, I think. You know, I say five obelisks is an issue, but honestly, it hasn't actually ever became an issue. We still get these done in about two minutes and 30 seconds, even with uh, the all the obelisks there. Wonder if like we got a six obelisk, if we would be able to do it. Just with these small vaults and because we can get through them so fast, doesn't really, I'm not even stressed about it anymore. You know, the stress factor thankfully is gone. <laughs> the only thing that stresses me out now is the 118 vaults because, oh boy, they are a totally different story, including the bosses. I tested one out, died to it and uh, found out, well, maybe I should bring potions because I'm a goofy, I'm a goofball. Of course, why, Chosen, why would you not bring potions into a vault for a boss battle when you're a weakling? Of course, maybe this pack is, it's, it's what did that to me. It just made me think that I could just, you know, <laughs> go out and destroy it without any kind of potions. Nope, nope, definitely not the case. Now, if you are curious, by the way, about the, uh, the Vault Hunters mod pack, the 118 version, I did publish a guide video for it. Um, so if you're interested in just seeing some of it without any kind of spoilers, there is a, uh, a guide video that I did publish uh, over here on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, if you check that out, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, there's a whole lot of changes. Uh, so definitely be prepared. And I kind of go over, I think, what I, I consider some of the most valuable questions. I try to answer some of the most, uh, most asked questions. So here we are, the final boss. There we go, and <laughs> it fell down and we wrecked it as it fell down. Oh, you gotta love this. Well, so much for Goody. <laughs> we took out I Goody. All right, and uh, what's in the crate? Nothing, oh, no more artifacts, man. I'm hoping for artifacts, that's all I want. All I want is just artifacts at this point. Well, at least this guarantees us another artifact for next week. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump in and do a few of these vaults here. And I'm going straight for the boss. I'm not really running unless it's like not a boss run. Yeah, this is a boss run. So I am literally just going straight for artifact finding and boss running it. Um, these are gonna be speed runs as fast as I can get through it, not even worrying about loot. 
Unless I come across some sort of crazy room, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, and yeah, this is going to be all about trying to complete the objective. So that way we can get a boss crate that hopefully contains an artifact. First artifact and uh, or not artifact. <laughs> first obelisk. And uh, we are making our first or our second turn heading back. I forgot to put a waypoint, but I'll be able to head back and place that as soon as we get back through this first round. But we're getting close. Oh, I see the second obelisk. There we go. Oh, no. This room is good, but I mean, it's it's not worth it at this point. It's so not worth it. We're not going to gain really any anything from it that is worth it at this point in the pack. All right, we've hit the dead end, but third obelisk. And right here is our entrance. Oh, and another obelisk. Nice. Right here is our entrance. I'm going to go ahead and place a waypoint there. And then we're just going to continue heading in this direction all the way till the end. Oh, here we go. Now, after this one, we have one more left. I mean, it feels like we can get this done in like six obelisks here in like less than 10 minutes is actually pretty quick, in my opinion. I think that's uh, it's pretty fast. All right, so here we are. Boss time. And <laughs> get wrecked again. Oh, boy. No artifact. All right, time to jump into another vault. Let's do this. Just one right after another. And this one's going to be easy. It's only three obelisk. First obelisk. Second. Ooh, and uh, stop for a moment because please have the one I want. Please have the one I want. Oh, it has neither one of the ones I want. Ooh, there's another one here too. Uh, does this have the ones I need? Come on. <laughs> Ninja for 10. I think we can buy that. All right, as soon as I take on these guys real quick. Okay. And you. Wait. <laughs> Try to do it while in the air. Uh, yes, I have platinum and ninja is definitely worth a purchase. Ooh, if I can get a full set of ninja, I don't... Is this my third ninja piece? Oh, boy. And it's also boss wrecking time. <laughs> oh, it's too too easy. Too easy. No joke, this is my third ninja piece. Uh, okay. Because <laughs> if we have four, and then we get ourselves, we just basically remove our jetpack. We'll basically be a parry god. Finally, all of these seals of the uh, executioner are finally working out. Very nice, because uh, I'm taking all of these and just applying them to the crystal. That way we are guaranteed a boss kill run. You know what's funny? I almost forgot to open up the boss crate. <laughs> Did we got an artifact? Yes. <laughs> I almost forgot to open this bad boy. Oh my goodness. And it's one we already have, which means we get to exchange it. Let's pop over here and give me one I don't have. I don't have this one. Oh boy. So we are literally missing one. One artifact. <laughs> and then we... One more artifact. And then we have to solve this puzzle. What? And that could be today. We could get that artifact today. If not, we're definitely getting it next week. Let's go. Another boss killing round. And maybe we'll get another... Uh, who knows? Maybe we got might get another etching throughout this vault. And this one is another six obelisk run. I just realized this has Odyssey on it. This might also be a guaranteed. I mean, it's not a guaranteed, but this might be another artifact. And I would be ex super excited if that's the case. Obelisk one, two, three, four, five, and one more left to go. Oh my gosh, and it's right here. Well, this will be fun and easy. There we go. And, oh, it teleported. And of course it's down here. Regaining all of its health back. This time I'll, there we go. <laughs> Take care of it. But will we get our last artifact from this crate? I mean, the chances are pretty high with that 
face chance and 50%. So, oh. All right, now let's see if we got it. Oh, yes. Oh my God, literally over a year, almost a year worth of recording. <laughs> we got it. Oh my gosh. Yes, so we have put so many hours into this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a statistics loading screen. I have spent almost 27 IRL days worth of playtime in this to literally complete all of these. <laughs> and I've done it. I have literally done it. And we have literally t one more to find. One more to find. I don't, I think we have this one. This might take a moment as I do have to sift through. So hopefully, I mean, honestly, there's got to be one. By the way, if you don't know why I'm rolling, it is because uh, earlier, about uh, four obl or four of these ago, um, I decided that uh, it was going to take t way, way too long to actually complete this. So I decided to go ahead and just, uh, yeah, grab out the artifacts. And I think that's the last one. I decided to go ahead and if I got an artifact, I was going to basically guarantee a new reroll. And that is what we've done. This is the last artifact. Um, I know we've, we're grabbing these, but let's throw these out. Last artifact in the list. Uh, I've got to build a, a board for this. I got to build, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to raise this up one because I do like where it's at. We've got to raise this up and then we've got to put it together. So in trying to solve this puzzle, I went ahead and made the background white to make it a little bit easier to see. But I think this goes in the center. And then I already think I found the connecting piece to the bottom here. Now, finding what connects to the center is going to be really hard because what goes here? What has a flat edge? And then on this side, what has a little chip off the top, but is overall flat. And the top is also overall flat. So I have them all inside of this. And it'll make it a little bit easier to sort of see, but my goodness, this is going to be tough. So far, so good. I've found a couple more pieces. It's getting a little bit closer. I think these are all forming together. I think I'm getting it. Slowly but surely, all of the pieces are starting to line up. All right. Now, if you don't want spoilers, I recommend looking away because I think I've done it. Boom. Yes, right here is the last piece. And I'm almost positive all of these cracks line up to form this image. And yes, definitely time to take a screenshot. So that way when we, re we move this somewhere else, yeah, we're going to have it. But oh my, look at this beautiful thing that we have spent so long to get. Ah. Oh satisfying just feels worth it now you may be asking yourself chosen honestly what's next like what are you gonna do now that you have this well it's gonna be final vault time and that means well we need to make ourselves the best that we can possibly be and i need to do some more research about the final vault before we do it because apparently there's a whole thing that we have to do on the wiki also there's some special stuff we have to do to be able to even get into it Woo! so i think that's gonna happen next week but guys I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys enjoy this content. And of course, guys, I'll be seeing you over in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.